So I set up a fun little project here I thought maybe some of my subscribers might appreciate. The other night I was in my shop here playing around with one of these Lectennis. For those that don't know, these are just LEDs that light up because of the radio stations in the neighborhood. And I found that when you put two reverse bias diodes on a circuit like this with a ground wire and an antenna, that the uh, two LEDs light up because we've got a couple of fairly strong radio stations in the neighborhood on the AM broadcast band. In fact, um, in the daytime, I think one of them is putting out about 10,000 watts and the other one's about 5,000 watts. But at nighttime, they drop their power way down to, oh, one of them goes down to 48 watts at night and the other one goes down to, a, looks like 123 watts. So what surprised me was that the, lect the uh, little LEDs here still lit up. But what I noticed is when I added this little choke here, and there's a part number of the choke, when I added a ground wire and the, the choke right like here, all of a sudden the light came on brighter and I realized I'm doing some kind of impedance matching between my antenna, my 200 foot long wire antenna, and my LEDs. So I, I did another experiment. I grabbed my antenna tuner that I would use on my ham radio and I thought, let me see if I can match the impedance coming from the uh, local radio stations and see if I can get the lights to go brighter. And, and I'll be darned if I... If I didn't get this thing much brighter, now it's tunable. So you can see as you tune these two knobs here, it reduces the uh, impedance quite a bit. But you can see, you know, when I when I get these all lined up, um, it makes them really bright. So I'm kind of curious to see what happens when the radio station lowers their power, which I think is going to happen in, oh, about 15 more minutes. So maybe I'll leave the camera on. I'll just pause it. I'm just curious to see if they'll stay lit when the stations lower their power. Anyway, I was kind of surprised that the uh, the low-powered uh, output from the station, which I believe is about a mile from here, was still able to light up an LED. It wasn't terribly bright, but this will be interesting when they drop their power down. So maybe I'll just pause this video here and turn it back on when they, when they drop their power down and see what happens. Anyway, if you happen to have an old antenna tuner, um, you might find this a fun experiment. For those that didn't see my previous videos, just keep in mind when you set up the LEDs, um, you want to have them reverse bias so the cathode goes on this side for one LED, the anode on the other. Otherwise, they don't work. If I turn it around to where they're the same uh, input, you know, cathode here, cathode here, they don't light up. So for some reason, this, this particular circuit rectifies RF signals um, from the local AM stations. And... Uh, the, you know, the little diode configuration I had on another diagram worked better. But still, you know, for two LEDs, and, and in this case, I've got three lect, lect antennas on each side. I'm driving it from the center. So anyway, I'll pause the video. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's one detail I forgot to add before they drop the power. I took this tiny solar panel here, real tiny thing. I hooked it on this audio amplifier. Look when I point it toward the lights. So it puts out quite a signal there. And of course, it turns the light back into uh, modulation again. Anyway, there you have it. And, the, and if I point it up toward the ceiling, you hear the AC hum from the uh, LED lights. Well, the, the station just dropped their power just now, so the lights went out completely. So what I'm going to do is hook up just maybe one uh, one like 10 and see if I get it to come on. I didn't think it'd go off completely. A little disappointing, but uh, let me experiment here. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't get the lights to come on at all with the antenna tuner in line. And so I just hooked up this one like 10 here with the two LEDs. No, no extra diode other than the two LEDs, reverse bias. And I put the choke back in line. As you can see, it's it's coming on. Now watch this. If I, if I jump the choke, some might call it a ballon. Maybe it's a ballon and a choke. You can see when I jump, jump this here, just put the wire here, if I go straight with a ground wire, it's not near as bright. So it barely glows at all. So yeah, so this is doing a little impedance matching here. It allows the lights to come on, even though the station has substantially lowered their power at this time so and again i can still pick up the uh sound off of the solar panel and 
anyway i just thought i'd show that just have a little fun hope you all are doing well and uh if you like the video please give it a thumbs up Oh, there's gonna, one more thing I was going to show. Oh, just one more thing I want to show off here. I made this little keychain thing. I can put it next to my Wi-Fi modem, and it picks up the uh, signal coming off of it. It goes pretty far back. I can get it. Let's see. Oh, wow. I guess maybe, maybe about five inches or so. You know what's strange? I made one of these. I used to keep it on my keychain. Actually, I made about three or four of them, and I noticed they always burn out. I don't know if static charge on my body was screwed up or what. Anyway, there you have it. Have a good day.